Hello you guys, Jaden here, back with another video. Today we're taking a look at some of my personal photos from the first roll of film that I had, which is the Cinestill 400D. Hope you guys enjoy them. I thought they were just a little flat just due to the sun not being out and obviously I'm still learning film. I do have a couple rolls of film on the way that are being developed. Second one after that one is an Ektar 100, a Portra 400, and an Ilford HP5 400, which is the black and white film. I'm currently shooting on Kodak Gold 200, and so now since it's becoming more sunny and it's less June gloom type, I'm really looking forward. But I hope you guys enjoy some of the photos. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, let me know what rules of film that you might think I might could be interested in or what you would like to see me shoot. Into my files right here, we're looking at my Cinesteel 400D photos. Uh, these ones are the ones that are slightly edited. Uh, nothing crazy, just a little bit of contrast, maybe Drop the shadows a little bit, but let's go ahead and get into it. Um, also, disclaimer, this is my first time using a film camera. Most of these photos were taken on a lens I've never used as well, and they were overcast. So, you know, it is what it is. The photos look a little flat, but it's okay. You know, we're learning. So let's go ahead and open the first image. This looked better in my mind, obviously. Uh, it's just a normal photo of the lake nearby my house. Uh, you know, I like the grain. It's kind of flat looking. It's okay though, a little moody looking, I guess. Uh, it was actually a fantastic day that day. And then up here in the corner, you can see the little bit of the red halations, um, the glow usually around the leaves. Not a bad photo, not my favorite though, but let's move on. Now this photo I like, maybe a sunny day obviously would have been a little bit better, but to be honest with you, it's just a little bit of a flat photo. Um, retain a little bit of detail in the clouds, very, very minor. But, you know, not bad. Let's go ahead and go to the next photo. Now, admittedly, this photo would look better if I would have got lower, but uh, shooting on film, I can only look through the, the viewfinder. So, not a, not a bad photo. I don't dislike it. You know, ducks, you got them chilling, doing their thing. Nice little reflection down here. Uh, not bad, I guess. Bit of a vertical one. I like this shot a little bit better. Um, I like that he's standing there doing his thing. Uh, that one's just chilling, and then you have the people fishing on the dock. Which right there, Loki looks like the dock's about to like kind of go face first into the water. Another dock photo, horizontal. This played out better in my mind too. I should have stepped over to the left probably a bit more, and a little more leading lines, and then maybe get part of this in the photo. Uh, decent shot, reflection. You know, obviously the water wasn't still because it was... Not too windy that day. I do like how the fog kind of, or the clouds come over the, the mountains a little bit. Um, just, I stopped in the road, took this photo real quick. Thought it would turn out better. It honestly just looks like a normal snapshot, so nothing special. I like this one right here. I was actually trying to go for the red halations right there, and then you have the restaurant in the background. You know, my dirty little car at the pump. That one right there hasn't worked for months. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Generic photo of a film photographer taking their photo in the mirror. I was more so just going for the red halations. That's what I was looking for and seeing what the intensity would be. There's me in the EOS 3. Uh, one of my better photos, the W115 red halations right here. It was sunnier that day, so I think the colors came out a little bit better. Um, I really like this old uh, Mercedes. It kind of looks like the one that the Russian people used in Rocky when he went to go fight the Russian. I, I like that too, that too, the W115. Just like the Formula One cars, that's like the W11, the W this, the W that, although they haven't been that good lately. Got the red halations right here. This is my one of my favorite shots of the roll. It's like a head-on shot. I like it. Looks nice and classic. Plus the older architecture in the background that looks like, what, 70s? Because they don't use these type of lights anymore either. I like how the reds also in the back look good on those flowers. In the U-Haul sign, I guess. This was taken in a garage. I kind of like the distortion of it. Um, it's kind of a, like a positive looking photo, but also kind of ominous in a weird way that you can see some of like the green hue of some of the things that are in the garage, but then the outside is nice and sunny. And then you can see the slight red halation right here. So I do like this photo. 
some photos of some roses, kind of generic, but you know, I did like this though. I, I think a crop would do this well, but obviously the film on 35 mil, you don't have crazy resolution. I like this photo as well. Probably could use a little bit more highlight bring back. Nice, simple photo. Now, this one's probably my favorite photo of the whole entire roll. Although I think it works better as a vertical photo just because I find this leaf a little bit distracting. But if you don't, to each their own. Or I guess I could use the cut it off right here and then do the AI thing and make it a little more symmetrical. Um, got another one out of focus. You know, it is what it is. First roll of film, can't be too mad. And then the rest of these are just generic snapshots of when I just pulled out the roll and I was going through the sh streets of North Park, San Diego. You know, nothing nothing to write home about. Is it write home or ride home? I don't know. Maybe you'd write home being like, yo, this happened to me. Another generic snapshot. This one in my car, try to frame it a little bit. Could use a little bit of highlight, bring back, but it is what it is. And then you have the couple over here having coffee with their dog. And then we have this photo. I think this was at the beginning of the roll or the end of the roll. I noticed a few of the photos. This must be at the end, kind of, because I know a few photos got light leaks, which I don't know how, but I'm not really mad. I wouldn't really care. You know, these aren't professional shoots. I like the, the light leak right here. It blends into the leaves. You know, just another generic photo. Not very sunny, so the colors look a little bland. Then we have this photo, which this was the first photo all together. I thought the door looked kind of interesting, um, but I don't know where this massive red light leak came from and right here as well. But that is what it is on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed some of those photos. Once I get more comfortable with film, I would love to do more POV work, just more out and about. And once I just get comfortable with film and know what I like and the colors and this, that and the other, I can look forward to shoot more of it. It's been, Honestly, the thing that's made me excited to go out and shoot as of late, I don't really, I'm not really having that much fun with digital at the moment. Maybe I'm just a little bored now, and I, this is the thing to get me rehyped on photography. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed those. I will see you in the next video. Bye.